and legendary sports broadcaster Vin Scully called some of the most memorable baseball games in history. He passed away earlier this month at 94. Church Milton's Paul Morano reviews some highlights of this broadcasting legend who was quietly a devout Catholic who loved God and his church. Vin Scully was born in 1927 and grew up a devout Catholic and a New York Giants baseball fan. He ended up broadcasting some of the most iconic moments in sports history. And look who's coming up. Before attending Fordham Prep, he was educated by nuns to whom he predicted his future. When I was eight years old, I wrote a composition for the nuns saying that I wanted to be a sports announcer. He began broadcasting Brooklyn Dodgers games in 1950 with Red Barber and spent 67 years on radio and TV calling Dodgers games. His most memorable calls were made in nationally broadcast World Series games. In his latter years, Scully attended St. Jude the Apostle Church in Westlake Village, California. He always sat right there. Father Jim Staley recalled how new parishioners would react upon seeing Scully in his pew. And they'd walk in and they'd do a double take when they saw the, the, uh, you know, the soundtrack of their lives uh, kneeling right over there. And no Mets or suffering Red Sox fan will ever forget this call from the 1986 World Series. Little roller up along first, behind the bag, it gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the Mets win it. Scully will be remembered for his golden voice, gentlemanly manner, and religious piety. To whom much is given, a great deal is required. And I pray that I will be able to fill the definition of what was required before I leave this mortal coil. He'll especially be remembered by his family as he leaves behind 21 grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. Paul Morano, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Scully outlived two wives, the first dying as a young woman in 1972 by a medical accident and the second passing away just last year.